All right, Shalom, Shalom. Like I say, all praises due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe, underneath the standard and the banner of Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, this is Tali Yaf Jim, that's boss coming back real quick, with quick and prompt too. You know, of, of watching a, a day worth of, you know, uh, 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 Captain Tazariak and his uh, buffoonery along with the ISUPK uh, stupid doctrines that they keep on uh, bringing out, man. And uh, like the elders in GMS are saying, you know, it's too late in the game for this this madness, all right? And just because they're they're showing this, it, it, they're showing their true colors of them being bought out by, uh, uh, you know, the elites in some type of way, okay? Through that 501c3 charters, all right? They're not the only group that's a, uh, well, they're the only group one of the only groups that's mainstream okay that have uh sold out okay those two groups are out of here man and it's getting it's getting exposed one group uh uh ain't no microchip okay and then this group with the, the satan serum all right and it's all being put out there you know, I'll put the links to the videos that I'm talking about, but I just got this to say, man. All right, through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. Their, their, their chips are going to be cashed in very soon. All right. And I just got a couple of scriptures to bring out on it. You know. And that's gonna be it, man. Because the the days of long winded uh, uh, conversations from certain apostles, certain brethren, certain uh, uh, men, all right, it's getting shorter and shorter, man. Okay, because it's it's bigger things to meditate on, all right. We're trying to put our, our house in order. And then you got these uh, type of demons that keep on rearing their ugly heads. Not really making sense of anything. All right. So I just pulled up, you know, Bible verses like Titus 1 and 11. All right. It says, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole households, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre sakes. Okay, so when you got these these uh, groups like ISUPK, I, IUIC, okay, pushing things that they ought not to push, their mouths are going to be stopped, okay? It's already shown, it's already proven through the scriptures, all right? We're not saying it just to be uh, uh, haters, so to speak, like black culture would like you to think it is. But people, the gutness, you know, about to be ran, and you're about to see who's going to, you know what I'm saying, be able to uh, uh, continue in long suffering, man, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashem and Shad, man. All right. This is what uh, the training of learning scriptures, learning uh, the culture of our people which are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, okay? And learning who the Lord is and, and all that's covered in the Holy Scriptures, man. This is what it's about. This this, this finalized uh, uh, test, so to speak, that's going to be given to you in the time of Jacob's trouble. And, <laughs> you know, it's a lot of people that already fell from the, from the gun. From the jump point, all right, just like with the SAT, man, if you don't got a pencil, you fell, all right, in the, in the white man's world, okay? 
So taking that thing, you know, you already, you off to a bad start, you know. In the scriptures, it says this. Let's, let's grab it. It's Matthew 6 and 24. It says, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. All right? And this this is what these these uh groups are mainly uh going along to get along for. Okay. To keep their their so-called world intact and we know in the scriptures that the lord staunchly said you're going to have to lose your life to gain your life okay and now you're about to see a lot of these uh people take the satan's punch okay just so they can uh thrive in the community so to speak or or continuing their uh their folly or their their enterprises okay let's see what it says about people that want to continue in their enterprises right because where are we going with this you're not going anywhere with it ultimately this place is going to be destroyed with nuclear fire okay that means everything is going to be dust and ashes we, where are we going see and that just shows you how much those groups okay and people when you read Isaiah the 60th chapter okay verse 2 that's how much they believe in this world okay just like Esau Okay, the scripture says, uh, uh, I think it's Psalms uh, 2, why does the heathen rage? Why do they imagine a vain thing? <laughs> the scriptures also say that Israel has become like the heathen men. Why? Because you, you're not falling in the ways of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So let's see what it says about enterprising. Okay, then we're going to go back. This is Job 5 and 12. I'm going to go up one. Yeah, okay. And this is talking about the Lord. This is what the Lord did. Who giveth rain upon, when I say that, Yahweh, okay? Who giveth rain upon the earth and sendeth waters upon the fields to set up on high those that be low, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. All right, and that's that's what's about to happen. Okay, that is exactly what's about to happen when you refuse Satan's serum. All right. Or the one, two, three, you out of here. Okay. You're gonna be you're gonna be mourning, you're gonna be brought low. But it says that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. Right? And this is this is the people with the crafty enterprise now. Alright? Such as these these two groups that's reveling in the five oh one C three charter, okay? It says he disappointed the vices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. He taketh the wise in their own craftiness and the counsel of the frower is carried headlong. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. All right. So <laughs> I tell you, he's going to leave them in a place of confusion. All right. He's going to leave them in a place of destitute all right 
out of darkness. And that ultimate out of darkness is that, that second death that's going to come as well. Okay, with them thermonuclear missiles. So these people, they, they playing a game that's, that, that uh, uh, it's not going to end well for them. All right? Anybody that took that one, two, three punch through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, he's going to have mercy on whom he's going to have mercy on. But ultimately, you know, if you take that, then you're going to take, you know, the MOTB. All right. So uh, we don't know, <laughs> you know, uh, uh, or we know that these two groups, they're, they're not men of the Lord at all, man. What they are, they're hirelings, man. They're hirelings. They're uh, wolves in sheep's clothing. Okay. They're false, false uh, shepherds, man. Okay. When the trouble come, they'll they'll run from the sheep, like they're doing right now, in order to save their their enterprise, which is going to be destroyed. They're leading you into the uh, the the slaughter, okay? Just for that little coin on the back end, you know. Let's go back. Second Timothy 3 and 6 it says for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sin led away with diverse lust see so just because this this guy uh, Tazariak alright him doing the one two three you out punch okay going to lead a lot of people to do that you know let's get another one this first Timothy 6 and 5 it says perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth supporting the gain its godliness from such withdraw thyself the, the scriptures of beautiful they pointing it out if you see these men doing these type of things they're, they're leading you on to uh darkness and destitutedness okay let's go down here Woo. fire 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 Ezekiel 13 and 19 and will ye pollute me among my people for handfuls of barley and for pieces of bread to slay the souls that should not die and to save the souls alive that should not live by your lying to my people that hear your lies oh this, that's scary man that is scary it's right on point man you see hello scary very scary man and that's what they're doing they're polluting the Lord's name <sighs> alright they're polluting the Lord's uh, uh, doctrine towards his people man So this is something just to think about, man. You know, as you watch these these days develop, and you watch these groups that you thought that would have been in the Lord, you know, cause they they're getting ready to turn and flee with they with the adversary, cause they think the adversary loves them that much, but the the economic system about to fall, okay, the infrastructure, okay, of America is about to be out of here. 
from where they're somewhere living it high off the hog, okay, thinking that Esau is not going to touch them, and he will eventually. He's going to pull you right down into the slaughter gates, man. He's going to show you the way there, and then he's going to go uh, uh, out the, the side door and collect the, the bounty, okay, because he's putting his own people into, you know, Esau's clutches. So I just wanted to bring that out, man. These groups are a uh, uh, hey, weak sauce, man. They ain't doing. They ain't doing what the Lord prescribed them to be occupied in prophecy. It's too much flippity flopping. Okay, you got IUIC still saying the name <laughs> in the Most High Christ bless. What the hell is that? <laughs> Where is the name? Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. That is a strong tower, man. And the Lord, he's sick of it, man. He's sick of it so much that he's just going to start doing what he prescribed himself to do. Because the Lord is not a liar. He's not a liar. It says that in the scriptures. Okay. His word does not go out void. And what it's set forth for, it's going to accomplish. Roughly paraphrasing. All right, the scripture. So with that, I want to say all praises do to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all your brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the one, the four corners of the globe, underneath the standard in the banner of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom, Abad, Abal. And quant Yasharada.